What's up, guys? Shay Stevens here, PDG number 77522, and I got some bad news. Let's get to it. So, as I've mentioned several times already, I was able to go down to Sedgley Woods uh, for the Scott Stokely Clinic there, and guys, highly recommend it. If you ever have a chance to attend one of Scott's clinics or his seminars, totally worth it. He's really great at breaking the complexities of the game down into small digestible chunks. Um, but when it came my time to throw for Scott, he said the four words you never want to hear uh, when you're trying to like develop your game. He said, your form looks good. So there was no major hitch in my swing. There was nothing. It was just, I got to put the work in now. He did give me some f a few like fine points to work on. I've really been hitting them and I have seen some really good gains, but Basically, I got to lose the gut. I got to go to the field and throw more. And with summer approaching, I hope to be able to do that. So we'll see how we do. Um, so I kind of wanted to take a little bit of time to look at my form now. I've been working on it for about a month since uh, working with Scott to see how am I looking compared to uh, where I've been. You know, as you've followed me, I've had some driving woes uh, from when I broke down my form in COVID and was trying to rebuild, but then I had to go back to work. So I was kind of like in this weird half old form, half new form, and it was not a good time for me. So I do have this, uh, my form tweaked a little bit more. Uh, I am seeing results, but I kind of want to get in front of a camera, throw in a field, and just take a look at it, you know, from a third-party point of view and see what's going on there, anything I need to work on, anything I'm missing. Uh, so let's get into the video. Okay, guys, starting here in the address, I'm nice and vertical. I always threw with a bit of a lean forward, you know, into a hyzer, basically, because I thought hyzers were more powerful, just ripping through. But after watching so many people throw in an afternoon... I do subscribe to the philosophy. You, the vertical tight spin is the fastest spin you'll be able to have. Like you usually hear the analogy of a figure skater when they're nice and tight and you know completely upright. That's the fastest spin they have. And the slow down, they either bend their body or throw their arms out. So trying to keep myself vertical and nice and tight. So coming through here into the X step, I am really happy with this X step. Nice, short, concise. I was pushing out towards my shoulder width on some throws and. I wasn't really feeling like I was transferring that much power. Keep my feet nice and stacked like this. I am feeling that weight shift a lot more now, and I feel like I'm drawing power from my legs. Backhand is getting a little away from me, but I do bring it back in. So going to the peak, reach back, and toe tap. Toe taps, I reach back. I like the timing here. Getting ready to go. Drop the heel and pull. And here's a bit of my problem. I don't use my hips right away. I lead with the shoulder instead of the hips. So I'm not getting all the power in there. They do come around, but they're kind of late to the party. So I'm getting some power, not all. Leading with the shoulder has been a problem I've struggled with for a while now. But I do have to say, this is not as bad as it used to be. There used to be a very severe angle uh, between my, if you drew a line from my shoulder to my hip and then my hip to my plant foot, used to be a, you know, a much more uh, drastic angle. And that is straightening up a bit. So it's progress. You got to celebrate that. So on the pull through, again, keep my hand tight to my body, push off nicely with the back leg and explode through. And yeah, I'm pretty happy, guys. I'm going to make in progress. And it's not going to be perfect, you know, on the very first attempt, but baby steps. Got to celebrate the uh, milestones as you come to them. And my drive is starting to feel better and I know what I need to work on. Okay, guys, to wrap things up, I'm really happy with where my form's going. When I connect on a shot, I am really connecting. I'm seeing a lot of distance come out. Um, my last tee shot of my tournament on Sunday, I absolutely smashed it. I have never been that far up the fairway. I actually had a decent run at Eagle if I wanted it. But after playing two days in a row, two round tournaments in 90 plus degree heat uh, for the first time in a long time, I was ready just to lay up under the basket, drop my disc in there, and walk away with a birdie. So uh, the better part, though, is that now when I make mistakes, I'm actually starting to just you know be in tune with myself and know what did I do wrong so I can fix it right there before, you know, I might make the mistake so many times I need to get in front of a camera to actually step to get a look back and see what I'm doing wrong. Now, just by feel and having thrown good drives, really good, powerful ones so many times, I can tell when things are off, what is off? You know, did I, did I start pulling through before I drop my heel and set the brace or, you know, did I let my hand go in front of the disc instead of stay on the outside, things like that. And it's really comforting to know, you know, what the mistake was and fix it and not have that hanging over your head for the rest of the tournament or, heck, even the next hole going, man, I really, you know, 
early release that last tee shot, I should you know either compensate or I got to figure out what I did wrong. Now I know what I did wrong and can fix it right away, and that's really nice. That being said, I do have to work on some things, mainly angles. Um, changing the form up mess with my timing on my Anheusers and Heisers, and when you play in the woods, you kind of need those shots. And I uh, had a bad time these past two tournaments, uh, just really having trouble. I actually lost my first ever MVP disc, that white fishing photon I like to show off. Tried to Heiser flip it, pulled it to the right, and it kicked the tree and just vanished into thin air. Everyone in the car knew where it was going to go. Wasn't there. So I'm um, hoping it turns up, but... That's what I have to work on, uh, and really the only remedy is, as Scott said, i got to get up to the field and throw, and i got to get myself in shape. I've, I teased it a little bit on my Facebook page. I have started running again. It feels good getting my cardio game back, and I'm just starting to feel healthier, which is great, especially in these, you know, after being locked down for so long. need to get up and get some fresh air. So that's where I'm at. i um, going to be working a lot on angles. I'll probably put up another video uh, showing that work uh, when I have some product to show. If you have any questions, guys, as always, reach out to me. I'll do my best to answer them. Take care. Thank you for watching my form update. If you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and other disc golf content. Lastly, thank you to my sponsor. For all your disc golf needs, check out Basket Bashers Disc Golf.